Hello watch fans, this is Anders here on Watch On Channel. So today, the full review of the new Yema Superman GMT. This is a new release from the French watch brand, taking the Type Watch collection, the Superman, to a GMT collection with a lot of new colors. So Yema were kind enough to send me these two review units. This is the 39mm version in the burgundy red bezel color and then in the green and on the rubber strap and also on the bracelet. You can also get this watch on a leather strap and you can choose between six different colors as you can see on the screen now. So a lot of options. You can also choose between 39 and 41 millimeter in diameter. And let's just have a look at the red, the burgundy here, which is a very hot color because of the new Tudor Black Bay these days. You see it is a dive style watch, but you do get a bezel, which is bi-directional. So you can turn it both ways. You get the clicks to set the time zones. Really, really nice action here. Feels really good. Then you see here, it's a world time as they call it. It's automatic and with the red printing, which is a bit hard to read here, it is a 500 meter water resistant watch. So this is the same style as the Superman 500. As you can see here, this is my own personal watch. It's the same size actually. This is a 500 meter water resistant dive watch in the mysterious blue. The difference is that they polish the case on the dive watch, but they brush the case on the GMT. It is simply the GMT version of their very popular Superman dive watch lineup. The first watches in the Superman lineup was released in the 60s and the brand was established in 1949. So looking closer again, you see we get these printed on Loomfield hour markings with the triangle at 12 o'clock and sticks at 6 and 9. And then we get a color matched date wheel here, a little oversized than the usual date wheels you see with the Salita movements, for example, at 3 o'clock. The very simple printing, Yema and the logo, Superman, and then the typical Yema handset with the pointy minute hand and the little fat sword style hour hand the shovel style or arrow style second hand, and then you get the GMT hand here. Dial color is this kind of matte glossy black, which looks really good. It really gives it a nice vintage aesthetic. So let's have a close look at the green one. You see exactly the same, but you get the green with the green numbering on the white, and then the white numbering on the green here. The bezel insert is sapphire, as well as the very nicely domed crystal, which gives it a very nice and warm vintage look in my opinion. It has the typical bezel protection here, which is something that annoys a lot of people, but it is a design cue for Yema on the Yema dive watches and the Yema sports watches. And that is just like the helium escape valve on a lot of Omega Seamasters. Very nice, big sign crown, very smooth. So you actually unscrew the crown and with the new movements and the new design and the new enhancements that Yema are doing, you actually get 30 meters of water resistance, although you have unscrewed the crown. So if you forget to screw in the crown, you still get 30 meters of water resistance, which is a really nice touch. Very smooth, very nice winding. So as we just touched upon very lightly, the case is completely brushed. You see here, female inlinks, which is a really nice thing. So the watch will wear quite close to the 39 millimeters, although Yema, they do have longer locks than a lot of other brands. Also the beautiful Yema case back here. I really like the Yema logo and the engraving. You see all the different details here. Drilled lock holes, so if you have a tool, you can very easily just punch in the tool here and remove the bracelet if you want to put it on a leather strap or nasal strap or something like that. But because of the long locks, it does look a little bit weird on some leather straps. Just be aware of that fact. The stainless steel bracelet tapers from 20 down to approximately 16 millimeters. You get the typical Yema clasp. It is not a bad clasp. It definitely is very, very secure because you have a click and a fold over, but it's also very thin and small, but I'm never going to become a huge fan of these clasps at these price points because they are, although they are very secure and good, simply just a little too simple, a little too primitive. Four micro adjustments. So inside of the watch beats the Yema 3000 in-house caliber movement. It's an automatic movement, as you can see. It beats at 28,800 patients per hour. It has 42 hours of power reserve, and it is from the factory promised by Yema plus or minus 10 seconds. So you should expect approximately that accuracy. I think that in the future, Yema, they should look 
much more into actually having more accurate movements. For my Yema 500 here, I got a very accurate movement, so I'm very happy. This is a 39 millimeter version. It is actually, as I measure, 39.8 millimeters, so you actually get much closer to 40 than 39. Then you get 48 millimeters from lock tip to lock tip here. You get 20 millimeter lock width here, and then you get 13.8 millimeters thickness. So it's simply not a slim watch, but as you will see when I put the watch on my wrist, it wears much slimmer and it wears really nice and close to its size on the wrist. I get a vintage feel. I get kind of the same feel as when I'm wearing uh, an older Rolex GMC Master as I own, or maybe an older Rolex Submariner. I get kind of the same feeling because of the size and the design of the case here. You also see the kind of stepped case here, which means that it's very easy to grip the coin edging here. It really is a nice coin edging because it's so easy to grip. And you see it just overhangs the bezel here, the case a little bit. So the rubber strap from Yema is just top quality. And that is also why, and it's kind of curious and different from a lot of other watch brands that the rubber strap versions are more expensive than the other versions. And that is simply because this rubber is top quality. You see the thickness, but it's extremely flexible and you get this amazing deployment clasp here. I really like the clasp. The cool thing is you actually size the rubber strap inside of the clasp here, the deployment clasp, so you don't have to cut off anything. And then this part will just touch your wrist so it feels really soft. It becomes a little bit thick compared to the stainless steel brace that you see. A little bit thicker with the deployment clasp, but it's definitely worth it. So let's have a closer look at the loom as promised, because we get really nice loom with the Swiss BGW9 grade A. And you see, we actually get half the bezel completely loomed, the white part of the bezel insert, the sapphire bezel insert completely loomed, which looks super cool. So let's talk about the pricing and conclude this review with the pluses and the minuses of these watches. So on the bracelet, it's 1,399 euros. On the rubber strap, it's 1,429. And if you choose the leather strap, it's 1,259. You can very easily get 10% discount from Yema if you sign up to the loyalty program, then you can cut off 10% right away. If you are a member of the Yema loyalty program, you can even get more discounts. It is not a cheap watch, but I think they can definitely hold up to the quality. It's a smaller brand Yema with an in-house movement and you get some nice features with this watch. So I definitely think that it is something to consider if you're looking for a vintage inspired different GMT watch. Now this is what we properly call an office GMT as the GMT hand. In the first position, you set the time and then you turn it and then you can turn the GMT hand. You can't set the hour hand independently, which means if you're traveling, if it's a business GMT, you would be able to set the hour hand because you want to set the hour hand to the local time and then the GMT to your home time. This is different. So it's much more of an office GMT. And of course, when you just set the time, the GMT hand will follow. So you get all the functionality you need if you want to have one, two or three time zones because you can have one time zone with the regular time, a different time zone with the GMT hand and a third time zone with the bezel. And again, I must say, it's very smooth. It feels really, really good, the best selection on this watch. The watches are very functional, and don't forget you get 500 meters of water resistance, which is a nice feature, although you're of course not going to use it. Also, you will not be able to scratch this watch a lot because you get the brushed case, and you get a really nice crown, which is buttery smooth. It's very easy to operate and set the time, and it just feels so good operating the crown. You see here, it's tucked in between the crown guards. Also, the loom is a really cool feature of this watch, really potent loom. And as you saw, you also get the nice feature with the loomed sapphire bezel. And with the crystal and the bezel being sapphire, it's hard to scratch. The bracelet is an okay bracelet, but it's still a little bit tinny, a little bit cheap feeling. And the clasp on the bracelet isn't the best. I definitely think they should upgrade the clasp. The rubber strap is top quality, really, really nice rubber strap, but it becomes a little bit thick with the deployment clasp and you have to pay extra to get the rubber strap, but I can definitely recommend the rubber strap. So some of the minuses, I think they should have done more with the case. I think it's a bit weird that actually with this, which is a premium Superman and a very limited one at that, they actually polish the case. But with this, which is much more of an office 
everyday watch, not a complete tool watch. They brushed the case, which is a bit, little bit strange. Maybe they could have done something with polishing the locks or something just to have a little more variation. I have a 17 and a half centimeter wrist circumference and you can see something to be aware of is that the MAD have these very long locks. It wears slimmer than 13.8 millimeters in thickness, in my opinion, but they do have these long locks. So if you're opting for the 41 millimeter version, just be aware it will wear much bigger than 41 millimeters. I think this wears like a 40, maybe 40 and a half, although it's 39.8 millimeters in diameter, and I think it wears really nicely. Some nice heft to the watch as well. And here, red one on the rubber strap wears really nicely as well. I definitely prefer the rubber strap over the bracelet. So this is something to keep in mind as well. Top quality rubber strap. And the last gripe I have is that the AR treatment of the crystal isn't the best. I think they should do a better job with treating this. It's very reflective in different lighting situations and it's kind of hard to actually take pictures of this watch. So all in all, I think Yema did a really nice iteration of the Superman lineup, a nice, very functional quality automatic GMT diver, definitely something that will hold up and is a quality watch with their own in-house movement. So this is definitely something to look into if you want a vintage inspired GMT watch and you also want a dive watch, something that can really get you through the summer, getting into the pool, traveling, all of that stuff. This will be a really nice choice. Of course, they are not cheap because you pay more than 1000 euros for these watches. So that is also something to consider. But all in all, I'm happy with the quality of these watches at the price point. Some things they could do better, but still nice watches from the French brand. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Now I have to send back the watches to Yema. They were only in for loan. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I will see you very soon again. Thank you. Bye.